Good morning, body of Christ. I think it's Wednesday morning, bright and early. We are live from Smithers Town. And uh, I was just praying to God this morning, you know, just talking to God about um, repentance and, and uh, man, <clears throat> asking the Lord uh, to show me where I need to change and, and uh, sift me, God, you know, like we got to do that before the Lord quite often, I think is uh, it's good to humble yourself before the Lord and and uh, ask God, where am I totally blind? You know, because we often can't see our own blindness. And uh, this is so important. Um, God showed me a scripture, and at first it didn't seem to apply, but the back, very end, it really does apply. Um, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. This is Matthew 7, verse 7. Uh, knock and the door will be opened to you for everyone who asks receive and he who seeks finds and to him who knocks it will be opened or what man is there among you who if his son asks for bread will give him a stone or if he asks for a fish will give him a serpent if you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him and then this this verse uh this is verse 12 this is so important man um See, we don't necessarily know how to uh, do the good things. We don't necessarily know how to um, bring about change. And, I, man, I see so many Christians cutting off other Christians. I'm a, vi I'm a victim, and I've been uh, I, also a perpetrator in this, uh, of cutting people off that don't understand me, or of people cutting off other Christians because they don't understand me. You know, like... like you know, I, I've, I've had some big things happen in my life because people didn't understand what I was saying, nor were they willing to listen. And I've had very few want to go over the scriptures with me about it. It's sad, man, because we're so stuck in a theology because we think that a theology saves us rather than obedience to Christ, like the walk of Christ. So we're all, st I mean, it's, it's important to have our theology, but you have to learn what is true by doing it just like the way the scripture says if you don't if you just read the words don't do them you'll be deceived i know i say that over and over again if so some of you out there might watch my movies often um and i say that all the time you must do what the gospel says and that's how we build our truth so a lot of people are sitting in churches or, or in study groups and they're building their truth there i've heard of discipleship groups that have never gone out and discipled anyone but they're teaching discipleship it's like, well, where's the practical application? That's where the learning really comes. I mean, do you know how to do deliverance on people? You know, ah, well, sometimes uh, people come under attack again and again afterwards. What's that all about? What's going on in their life? Do they need to renew their mind? Is it scripturally based? Do they need freedom because of the word of God isn't in their soul yet? You know, it speaks life into your soul. So maybe they need to renew their mind. Maybe they need to repent from, from uh, some big sin. Maybe they need to, uh, ba water baptism to bury the old man. Maybe that's why there's a, there's a demonic oppression. There's so many things that you will never know the answers to unless you work them out. And the gospel is such that we need to work to discover the truth. And that doesn't mean just study it. So here though but god's saying here like so this comes back to honoring one another this comes back to seeking truth if you keep cutting off the people in your life that you don't agree with you're never going to find the truth uh so many people that i've run into are speaking nuggets of truth and and if we would all come together we would have like a really good a really good uh, man, we would have a really good beginning to a really good foundation. Uh, I've, I've met so many Christians. There's aloof ones. There's, they're all over the place. Like, and, and, uh, and, and lots uh, joined with other groups and different stuff like that. And everyone has this, like, they're all holding on to a theology rather than on to walking like Christ and being unified in the, in the, the mission and the devotion for the lost. Right? Like, it's, that's our call is, is we are ministers of reconciliation. It's super simple. And, and if we were united in that, we would be able to learn from each other. And if we were humble when we talked to one another about what we believed, because everybody believes something different. But therefore, verse 12, Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. And this is what God wants me to repent of. 
And I want people to honor what I'm saying, just like you do. I, I mean, you must, like, you must want people to hear you and listen to you. What are your cares and concerns? What are, what are your questions about the gospel? Um, is this real or is this not? Can we go here or can we not? You know, what about healing ministry? What about deliverance? What about those things that Jesus commanded? What about, what about speaking in tongues? What about all of that? These are just, just facets of, of the, the body of Christ. And, and, uh, we need to know this stuff. And there's so many people out there that hold a single or a nugget of truth and treasure and if we start to honor each other and do to others what we would want them to do to us, that means to hear them, to listen to them, to stand with them, to go through the scripture with them and find truth. This takes time and communion. So the gospel, you can't do it in a lukewarm fashion. It's just not going to happen. You, no man is an island. I mean, you, you must be combined with other believers. Some people out there think that I'm not combined with other believers. I have brothers all over the place. And a lot of them admonish me and correct me and and help me to see I'm not a standalone guy I'm not running on my own I know it's important to have a covering to have multiple coverings for by many by many wise advisors uh, people win battles right so I just want to encourage you body of Christ this is such a key to our unity this is such a key to um, how we need to repent right now as a church how do we repent let's take up the torch to go to the people that are opposing us to go to the people that that don't understand what we're saying that don't understand go to them honor them talk with them make communion with them make fellowship with them i don't mean take i don't mean take communion with them i mean i mean commune with them get into relationship there are people in your life that you can take a step towards today and heal that broken relationship. Mend that wound. Yeah, you may have to swallow some humble pie, but it's for their good and you know it. So I just, God bless you. And uh, I hope this is a good Wednesday morning message for you. Maybe it's even Tuesday, Thursday. I don't know. God bless you anyways. Have a good day.